Hey Sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, I'm so glad you're here. So for today's video, I am going to be vlogging a little girl's getaway that I am on. I traveled this morning, actually flew here and I am meeting my friend whose name is Yvette. A lot of you guys may know her as the Yvette Renee over on YouTube and she does a foundation paper piecing channel. She also does some quilting unboxings and things. She's incredible. We met through YouTube and we were really missing each other. When we booked this a few months ago, we weren't sure what was going to go on with the restrictions during the pandemic. So we picked a place that we both loved kind of in the middle of where we both live. And we decided if we needed quarantine before we see each other and then come together and just stay put and be cozy in this Airbnb, that would be fine with us. We could watch movies, we could cross stitch, we could giggle and be happy. Since we booked this, the restrictions have lifted and we're able to move around and travel. So this Airbnb is in a really cool location. It's in downtown Richmond, Virginia. There's tons of shops and stores and things. So we're gonna do a little bit of both staying in and hanging out and going out just a little bit to see what is in Richmond. So we're gonna bring you along. I thought I would take you around this Airbnb in case you're interested because it is so, so good and um, give you a little tour in case you're in the area and need a suggestion. So hang on and I'm gonna take you on a little tour. All right, so this Airbnb is right on Main Street in downtown Richmond and you have to carry your luggage all the way up these stairs um, to get to the top. It was a little brutal, but trust me, when you get to the top, it is well worth it. So when you're at the top, this is kind of what you see. There is a bedroom back there, a bedroom here, and I'm gonna show you them. I'm just gonna pan you around a little bit without hopefully making you sick. There's a living room. Back in the back back there is the kitchen where I was vlogging earlier. There is a little hall tree and then a closet with a stackable washer dryer. And then at the end of the hall is a little bathroom. So when you get to the top of the stairs and you make a left, you are actually going to go into the first bedroom here. This is actually the bedroom I'm staying at. It is my birthday weekend and Yvette said you take the master but I'm, I don't really care about that kind of stuff so I'm just going to sleep in this room. I thought it was so pretty. It has these windows that are frosted above the bed. The bed is so comfortable. Uh, I take Jeremy when I travel and I'm so tired so I actually have already taken a little nap waiting for my friend to get here. There's just a little dresser and then on the other side of the bed Three of the rooms have these old time gorgeous fireplaces and there's a big huge mirror above the mantel and then here is the closet. So that is where I'm going to be staying. I'm going to pan you around again slowly. I love, I don't think it's coming across on this camera, but the color of these walls are gorgeous. They're like a vanilla and they look so good with the pop of white um, around the trim and the doors. I want to take a picture of this color because I think this is what I want to paint my living room. So we're back to the stairs where we came up and we're going to go down the hallway. Um, there's a thermostat on the wall in case you're interested and a piece of art. And then this door is fused shut. This is actually the back of the bathroom of the master. So here is a view of the master. Again, it's got that great fireplace. Um, I love the big mirror in here. I'm probably gonna be doing some outfit of the days in here. This room actually has a TV and I don't, I can't speak to the comfiness of this bed, but it looks pretty darn amazing. Again, you've got those big windows. And if you pan over to this side of the room, then um, you can see the windows and these are the ones that are on the other side um, where my bed is. I just think the details are so cool. This is must be some kind of historical building. I love it. Um, and then she's going to have her closet and then we're gonna walk this way into her bathroom. The little bathroom is not huge, but it's big enough. And this is what it looks like got a little glass in shower. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we'll come back around, show you a different angle of her bedroom. And then we are going to walk back down the hall and I will show you the kitchen is so cool. We have to get to the living room first though. All right, so we're back to the beautiful stairs. Trust me, we're going to get our workout going up and down those stairs every day. 
There on the left is my bedroom and we're going to walk into the living room. So again, we've got these gorgeous windows in the living room. There's a little desk and this is a cozy couch and a TV where I'm sure we will be watching lots of movies and just um, cross-stitching and having a good time. There's this gorgeous mirror up here and this fantastic little chair. And then you walk this way and you're walking into the kitchen. There's a little Eden table here. Really cute artwork on the walls. There's a bank of cabinets that just have like um, some blenders and things that you need in the kitchen. And then look at the bank of windows on the back. And the view is really cool. It's just old and historic and gorgeous. There's a parking lot behind the building um, for all the tenants. And then let me see if I can get a little closer. I feel like the windows are blowing things out. This is what it looks like very modern. It looks like it has just been, that is actually my purse and the soap dispenser because that is actually where I opened the vlog. <laughs> I needed somewhere to plop, uh, plop, prop, prop. That's the word, prop up my phone. So I will move those things. And then here is the microwave, the stove, and the refrigerator. So perfect. It's got a Keurig. Um, actually in the fridge, they left us a couple of Cokes and some Sprite and what looks like some creamer, which was nice. There's um, little toiletry sets in each bathroom. And also in the laundry, they left dryer sheets and laundry tabs if we need them. So they kind of thought of everything. There's a little hall tree there with a mirror. There's the stairs in front of us. And then here, is the little washer dryer, in case anybody's interested. There's the dryer sheets, it smells so good. In here, little closet. And then again, my back is to the stairs. We're gonna pass the kitchen on the left. And this is the extra bathroom. So I'll be using this bathroom. Really, really cute. And this one where the other shower was glassed in, this is a tub shower, in case you wanna take a bath or you've got little kiddos. So great location, right? Don't you just love the character of this location? It's going to be perfect for us. I'm so excited. And um, we're going to be staying here through my birthday. And we really didn't make any plans, which is very unlike both of us, but we just wanted to take it easy and relax and be together. So I will continue to bring you along. I think that's about an hour away. She drove and ran into quite a bit of traffic at the last minute. I got um, a pretty inexpensive flight it was round trip right at $200 on Southwest. So I ended up flying in and then just taking a taxi over here. So that's why I'm a little bit early, um, but I will show you a vet when she gets here. I am so excited to hug her neck. Welcome and good luck with these stairs. You're here, you're here. I'm here. I'm doing a to the vlog and then I'll turn the camera off of you. Hello. Hey my sunshines. So we didn't vlog the whole day yesterday. We just were enjoying being together. Yes. And we worked a lot too. We worked a lot. <laughs> On both of our channels. <laughs> um, this is Yvette. I'm going to give a formal introduction. If you don't follow her, the Yvette Renee, if you're a quilter, if you want to learn how to find a foundation paper piece. Perfect. She's, so She's your girl. <laughs> We've been having so much fun. We went oh down the gosh. street. If you live in the area or know Richmond, um, it's called Cary Street. And we just ate our way around the street. We shopped. Yes. We brought cupcakes home. We have cupcakes. We'll probably do a little haul when we get back. Yep. And also, I think we're going to put on our Instagram um, maybe some Q&A questions that we can do later. Yeah, that'd be fun. We can kind of sit down since we haven't vlogged that much. It's hard to vlog in stores though because everywhere has like uh, right. loud music. Loud music, everyone's having a mask on, we're having a mask, not that you would care, but. Um, <laughs> but we're having it's a, just such different. a good girls trip. Yesterday uh, yes. we went to a restaurant called the Tipsy Crab and we, we are uh, still dreaming. We might have gotten a little bit of tipsy uh, too. We're Maybe. still dreaming about these. They were called tipsy crab fries. Yes. Holy oh, cow. And we're, then today we ate at a diner. Yeah. What's it called? Um, Gypsy Diner? No. No, no, no. I can't oh, remember now. We're going to, we, well, we're going to have we'll to. We'll have to tell you in another clip. We'll but have they to tell had, you, yeah. We decided to try their country fried steak. 
I am from people that live, my kin is in the backwoods of like Kentucky coal miners, like know how to cook Southern food. This was the best chicken, the best country fried steak I've ever had in my whole life. Yeah. The sides, okay. But the steak. But this, oh yeah, the gravy. I mean, I wasn't expecting, oh we goodness. can stop eating it. It was so good. It, it was bad. But we're having fun. Yes. We just thought we would check in. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. All right, guys, so we are back from our afternoon of shopping. It is overcast all day today. Yesterday it rained cats and dogs. It's crazy, and my hair keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You have perfect hair. I don't have perfect hair, I just have no hair. It looks good. I got lots of lots of hair. So we did a little, a, a little damage today, a little bit. We thought, this one has a cupcake on the front. Yeah. Can you guess what's inside? <laughs> We target sideways. Oh, oh crap! Sideways. That's true. I didn't even think of that. I was like, we'll just turn the back sideways. Just pull, start. pull the okay. The, the handle. So we thought we'd do a little um, haul and just show you what we got. This is mine. So this is me. We went okay. to this sh this store called Lulu's. All right, show them what you got. They have okay. the cutest stuff. At first, when we went in there, I pulled up something that was like $187, and I was like, this is we not were our store. Out. We, were, we were all like, uh, <laughs> looky, don't touch you. Yeah. I was like, put your hands behind your back like you tell your kids when they're little. No. But then we found that there was stuff for like two bucks. Yeah, they have like I, a sidewalk sale. I mean, don't, you know, I don't need headbands like for. Um, you know, keep my hair back, but I thought really cute for like just a fashion. I think it was gonna be cute. And so I put them on and let's see, I should probably put the pink one on because I kind of got pink on, but that's okay. Um so it's I just think a little cute. cute. Just a little cute. Two dollars. Two dollars. Two bucks. So I just I just got a couple of them. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll pull no, out you something, pull now. something now. Out. I I got a little spindy and got a pair of sunglasses. I got some diff sunglasses. And I, I've always wanted like big movie star sunglasses. I, I know, but I, they, I don't look good in them. But these, I thought looked pretty good. Yeah, you weren't lying to me, were you? No, they're not I wasn't. gonna tell me they're, those are horrible. Well, I can't tell I'm you what kidding. these people are gonna tell I'm just you. Kidding. But... <laughs> so I got these. They're kind of like movie star, but they have the prettiest color to them. They look really cute they on look you. Good? Yes, they do. See, these are the color. So they actually really go cute. really well with your hair. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. I kind of like that they're mustardy. So I think these would be yeah. cute in the fall too. So Absolutely. I grabbed that. What else did you get? Yeah. So I got, um, y'all, we went outside. They were having a sale with some, uh, some jewelry, a whole bunch of other stuff. They were like um, some bags, bracelets, bags, bracelets, everything. Everything was like fifty cents, two dollars, three dollars. Yeah, it was crazy. And so I, there was this basket that said initial necklaces. Right? There's never a Y. And never. Like everywhere I go, never a Y. Until now, for three dollars, and it's silver, which is what she likes. And it's silver, yes, and I like silver better than it. Anyways, what was the original so, price on that? Is it scratched uh, out? Fifteen dollars. Oh, down to three. That's a oh, way deal right there, I, right? And it's got my. I couldn't yeah. read it. You could have knocked me over with it. Look at this. They wrapped all. Is that all you got? You got no, something I else got some here. You stuff. might as well open your shoe because they wrapped all you mine do. individually. Oh right. So I did get something that was on sale. I, I looked at this necklace and that was like. I don't see it. I don't, I don't really this get is it. Somewhere else, I'm have to pull that out. My my crazy necklace. She was like, mm, I'm not sure I like well, it. Well, no, I, I'll be honest. I still don't like it. But, I know, but you okay. like it. That's so okay. That's all that's that okay. matters. And I was like, I really, really like this. They had it in a couple of different colors, but I thought. It'll just look good in the, I don't know, I just like it. So then I realized that we were looking at a sale table and yeah. everything on the table was $5, okay? Five bucks. So you might not like it either, but I don't care. It's very cool. <laughs> it almost looks, it, it looks like this. We all like different stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not bad. It's not ugly. It's I just, just think not I will, taste. I will rock this. Yeah, you know, you will. I will, I will rock this, rock this. Okay, I'll rock it for five. She will. No, so she I totally will. Um, so we hit up the sale. Yeah. Well, I gotta open mine. So oh, okay. So, oh, I didn't open mine. Oh, well, let me show you this real quick then, since this is open. Oh, I, I got some a sticker for the back of my computer. Let me think of that. Okay. But anyway, so I got this little vinyl sticker. The heart wants what it wants. <laughs> She's the coffee loving queen. And amen for that one. <laughs> and then I got one of these um, 
for Richmond. Sorry, I'm like hurrying it up with my fair now. It's very cute. For Richmond is I thought it was very cute. And then I got one for Steph. Oops. I, love I got it. one for Steph as well. Cute. If I get nothing else for her, that's her little souvenir. There you go. <laughs> she got a sticker. And Steph is her sister shop yeah. for Etsy. Um, so if you go over, like I said earlier, if you are a quilty person, um, go check out her channel and Stephanie's channel. Stephanie Stitches, we'll link that below too. Yeah, we'll link everything. Yeah. Then I got, I don't know why I love this little necklace. It's so pretty. Because it's really pretty. Yeah. That is it's really like pretty. I like It's like a little choker and the stones. Now, I don't like cutesy stuff, but the stones actually are in the shape of hearts. But it's not overly, you can't really tell. Unless like, you honestly, look right I would totally them. wear that. Yeah, I think it's yeah, really like, cute. That one is really cute. It goes with what you got on, Yeah, too. kind of. I don't know. So I got that. Y'all know I'm a jewelry holic. Yeah. I want I, I like all the earrings. So I bought these earrings. And these are only 15 bucks, too. Yeah, those are really cute. Those are and very you. Because I just, I love hanging, dangling, and I love silver. And these were, like, kind of like a little, um... What do you call that? Punched silver or beat silver or yeah, hammered, I mean, hammered silver. There you go. Um, and so I got those. And then the last thing I got at Lulu's, I they had this without a hole in it, but I just fell in love with this stone because the stone has a hole in it. Isn't yeah. that interesting? I just thought it added to its character. I it's long. Thought that made it cute too. So that's what we got from Lulu's. So if you're ever in yeah. Richmond down in Cary Street. Um, we got that. All right, now we went a little nuts. Which one is whose is whose? I don't know. Oh, this mine has mine. the headband in it, so. Oh, that's true. Then we went to the paper source, because she loves, y'all know how much I love stationery. She loves stationery, I think, more than I do. Uh, I, it, listen, it, we, we were like, we are in trouble, because every time we would go into another one, we're like, we're totally in trouble. Are we going in here? Do we really want to go in there? We were like, yeah, we're, we're going. Well, yeah, we really want to go in there, so. So we went to the back. We're going to pull them out at the same time. So we went to the back of the store, and we both love these pens. They're our favorites. We got the pens. <laughs> but they're like pastel. Yeah, these are the pastel ones. Aren't they pretty? And there's a nice gray on the end. Yeah, there is. Yeah, that one's the a really nice The colors were one. really, really pretty. Yeah. I had never seen this set before. I haven't either. It's really pretty. Yeah. Because I'll buy them from Amazon, although they're harder to find on Amazon. Then we went to another paper store. Well, you got more from there. So I we'll show here's, what you got. Here's what else I got from there. Um, well, I, I can't cut it off because the scissors are over there. We're not going to worry about it. But I got a headband to wear. So when she goes to like quilt markets and things, she yep. always wears cat ears. Like that's ears. her thing. Yeah. And so when I saw these, but I'm and gonna put she these loves on. pink and purple. I was like, you could wear these in place of your cat ears. So a lot day, of her marketing and stuff even has her in cat ears. I am so always cute. wearing cat ears. Yeah. I've stopped kind of wearing them in videos though. I should pick that up again. And for those of you that keep asking me to do the cat lady box, this is who I always refer you to. So if you want to see the cat lady unboxing every month, go over to Yvette's channel because she yes. does it every single month. Well, Jelly Bean and I. Yes. She's Jelly got, Bean helps. She has four cats. I do. Um, so, and she has a cat named Jelly Bean who literally sits in front of her camera and gets in the box while she's trying to unbox it. It's the Let's cutest thing clean, ever. See his clean ears yeah, and all of that kind adorable. of stuff. Yeah. Sometimes you'll get a close up of the eyeball. It's awesome. <laughs> Just or the butt keep hole. My things on. You, we have had the butthole one time. One time I actually had to like do like this the whole time going, really? What are you doing? What are you doing? What else? You got something. Then you found another Well, one. this is a different store. No, but that, oh yeah, you're That's right. in a okay. different store. So then we went to a different paper store and we bought more <laughs> lip pads. I got more too. They sold them individually. Because these were, yeah, these were like different colors that we didn't have in our little pack. So we yeah. got these. Um, we have a problem. Yeah, <laughs> just a little one. Le Pen, Le Pen's <laughs> anonymous. That's where you send us. I really like Statler too. So if you guys, I like Statler. Yeah, yeah Statler's like Statler. are good. But you, but you can't can find those it. anywhere anyway. Either. Yeah, Target has them. Well, they do now. They didn't have them before. Yeah, I yeah, know. yeah. So we got all those colors. Yeah, we got, so we got all the colors. And then um, at Statler's, um, I found a Y. <laughs> Was your lucky day for why? Oh my goodness, like I'm finding whys everywhere. This is like my lucky spot. So I'm gonna put this on my computer. I'm really stoked, very excited. Well, either my computer or my sewing machine. I might put it on my sewing machine. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, maybe I'll put it on my sewing machine. But there we go. That's what the, else I got. For the Pista Resist Dogs. 
Well, wait, I have to show me. my earrings. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. She had it's okay. Yeah, you got, we went to one more store. I got these little earrings. It was at a consignment shop. This shop. I don't know what the name of it. Does it say? I don't even. Well, this, this shop, is vacation, but that isn't it. This yeah. was the, this was the company. It was the coolest resale shop. It was swarming. I mean, I've yeah. never seen so many people, but it was like, had all these antiques all around it. It didn't give you like a musty Goodwill vibe. It right. was like hip, cool. Right. I didn't feel like digging through the stuff. Yeah, because I'm really not a vintage or old And it was clothes. very people-y inside. I don't want to yeah. fight for the racks. No. And that was the other thing is like, even I had Lulu's. Remember that lady who like, you were looking oh at the gosh. headbands and she, she was just outside like, at the thing too. And every this time one lady, she wherever like I was, she was like us. right in front of me. And I was like, and we were just like, really? Like, was I, am I invisible? I know. It's Where's crazy. my visibility cloak? Did I put that on this morning and I forgot? And I was then, crazy. And then all we've done this whole time is eat. That's all we've done. It, oh, and drink. the food in Richmond and drink. Yeah, the food in Richmond. I've only had one drink. Oh, well, I had one and a half because <laughs> I couldn't make it through the second one. Um, <laughs> the food in Richmond, if you ever come to Richmond, holy, I think that cannoli. that lady was right. The lady was like, There's no restaurant you can go to where it's going to be a bad experience. No, Why? we are going like, to this <laughs> cool place tomorrow called what is it called? Can 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 Can. We had to make yeah. a reservation, but it looks like really I know because cool. we went today, we were like. We weren't sure if we wanted to eat there because we were like, oh, it's, you know, it looks kind of frou frou. I'm not really sure. And it's a little pressy, um, a little yeah, like. Yeah, it was a little bit like that. And there was a guy passing by and he's like, are you talking about Can Can? And we were <laughs> like, yeah. And he's like, they are amazing. Is so we went in. He yeah. said something different. Yeah. But he, but basically, they're amazing. So we went in today and we couldn't get a reservation. We couldn't get it. She's like, do you have a booking? And we were like, uh, <laughs> no. Do we need one? <laughs> so we walked halfway down the street and I'm like, let's just book for tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, we were like, so we're going to Can Can. And I'm probably Why just it. show up tomorrow and not be able I'm to go? I'm getting a Can Can t-shirt. They had well, Can Can t-shirts yeah. and they're so cute. I want to see them. I will get a t-shirt. We should probably both get a t-shirt, right? 20. Okay, <laughs> so then let's stop talking about Can Can because we might vlog it tomorrow. But we found a bakery. What was it called? The lady even said, did you go to blah, blah, blah? Oh, Carytown, Carytown Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Carytown Cupcakes. Now, I said you can only pick two, like on your mom. I know, because I would have <laughs> totally gotten, there was, I was at least going to get three. She was like, I can only I have two. I couldn't even. Like, no, you can have as many I as you <laughs> want. <laughs> it was probably really good that my mom was there, because I was going to like get three or four of them. I'm diabetic. Hello. <laughs> I was really saying it to myself, too, like you can only have two. So anyway. Oh, 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 there. Well, that's because we did that. It's okay. It's I'll take that one. I don't mind. I, well, it doesn't matter. I'll lick the box. Well, anyway, we me. got we got cupcakes. So we got four. They're still pretty. Those. This one is the same as this one. So we got red velvet. Red velvet. We each got that. And, and then, I got bee, honey bee. Yeah. It's like an amaretto. I love amaretto. Yes. Um, cupcake. And then you got that was the Oreo peanut butter. Oh, uh, Oreo peanut butter. And the Oreo said, peanut butter. And there was there's an Oreo on the bottom as like the crust. As the crust. So, so I'm super stoked, excited about that. So our eating around Richmond is going to continue. Right. Anyway, so that and, was our And here haul. we were talking about like how much weight we gained in the I past. Know, like, well, and then we were going to try to lose weight, but I, this is not the time. No. It's no. Wait, it's really not the time. <laughs> I had so much fun. It was fun not to like have to be anywhere, have any oh. kids need, that needed to be taken anywhere. We could just do what we wanted. Go in a shop if we wanted to. If we didn't want to go, just pass it and by. And giggle. It was so good. You and the good thing was we both wanted to go in the same places. Yeah. So, I mean, it really wasn't a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, even when we got in the consignment shop, we both were kind of like, I don't like consignment yeah. shops. What, <laughs> what can we go? I'm not digging. <laughs> Hello, friends. It is 1041 on our last night together. I know. It's so sad. And we promised you a Q&A. We didn't vlog a lot. It was kind of hard. Yeah, because we worked actually a lot. Yeah, we did. We, we needed actually, to. Like, yeah. it, this was a, it was a good thing. It was, it was relaxing. Good thing. Yes. And the, the few things that we wanted to do, we weren't able to do. Maybe a trip back to Richmond another time. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. So, we told you guys if you would send us some cues, we would A them. So, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> we are going to answer some questions. The first one somebody asked was like, I don't mean to be rude, but you look younger on Instagram. Did you get Botox? And I was like, I wish. 
I don't know that I think there were other things I would do before I would get Botox though. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like, I would. Complete skin like just Heal redo. Or something. Yes, like get, like just get rid of all the things that make me nuts. Yeah. Well on Instagram, there's a filter. I always use a filter. Yeah. So that helps. It smooths out your I skin. Mine is like called like found the foundation filter or something. And I had just gotten a spray tan a couple of days ago, so I think that that helped too. So that answers the Botox question. I'm not opposed to any kind of. Like, I'm not really opposed to it. Something. I just that wouldn't be my first thing. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. I say if it works for you, do it. I mean, I, I don't know. I I'm be starting opposed. to get lines up here. I really am, and yeah. I, and that that kind of just it just kind of freaked me out. Is all. Yeah. I don't really care, but because I never had them before, and now look, it's like they're there. Yeah. So you know, they're there. <laughs> Okay, you ready? Here we go. Okay, we're gonna... Have you ever been to the Mall of America in Minnesota? Nope. That's an easy one. No. no. I've never been to Minnesota. Me neither. I might have driven Minnesota through. Minnesota, man. Yeah. I might Minnesota. have driven through. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever driven but through. But I don't, I don't even... I don't think I did, but if I were there, it was just a drive through Yeah. I, I would like that. to go to the Mall of America and, and ride the roller coaster. Any kind of mall. I would totally be up for yeah, that. I would too. Um, what's your favorite thing to do or see when you visit a new place? The food, any food, whatever's yeah. local. Me too. It's it. Un, unfortunately, it's the food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I yeah. like to find a cool like street, like we did this time. We found yeah. Cary Street, which has lots of like food and um, shops and just interesting character. You definitely want to make sure that you go there for the first time with like your bestie and not your hubby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because my hubby would be like, are you done? Yeah, are no. Done? Who knows what I would have <laughs> been forced to do. I don't know, but we had a great time. We did. We and did. <laughs> we wish that we would have probably learned some of the information because we met the nicest girl in the paper source, and she's like, you got to do yes. this and this and this and this. And we went to do reservations that everything was already booked up. So I it was know, like, it was something darn. we really wanted to do for you guys, and we couldn't do it. Oh, my goodness. We yeah, were so disappointed. We'll save it for another trip, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I think we got to come back to Richmond. We I sh loved Richmond. We really should, like, plan. In. Yeah, it's neither one of us have a whole lot of time, and that's why, yeah, we, we both were, said we think about like before much. the trip, we're like, we're totally not these people that we don't have anything planned. Like we were trying to book massages, we couldn't get massages before because we waited too late. So I don't know, but I think it worked out. We had such a yeah. good time of yeah. just relaxing and like, and really like, uh, like I. I know that you and I are probably mostly in the same boat. We're like, but for me, I got so much work done. And honestly, yeah. like, even though people may be saying, oh, you should have done vacate. Listen, let me tell you something. That was yeah. amazing because I got to really just sit and work on things that usually I stress about. And um, so I, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was, so it was good. The best And of we both, both understand that yeah. we need to do that, you know? So yeah, it was the best was of both good. worlds. Okay, what is your favorite memory together? Okay, mine's always gonna be the tipsy crab. From this time? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Well, we did get tipsy. That was, that really was fun. Y'all, I do not, I'm not a drinker. Maybe once or twice a year, and I had both drinks this week. And both yeah, I drink tipsy. more than that, but I still don't drink like a whole bunch. And I'm telling you, like this, we just went back to the tipsy crab today. It was today. so good because they have these tipsy fries. I think we told them about yes. them, didn't we? So tipsy fries, yes. And they were just as amaze balls. They were good. We just it had was that. It an appetizer and it's enough for both of us for it really, like a it, meal. Yeah, exactly. It was so good. Yeah. But then we decided to get margaritas again. And the guy, was, oh the guy, my goodness. he made them so they strong. They were so strong. He came back to the table and Yvette's like almost chiding him like, these are too strong. He's like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he was like taking it as a compliment. Because I told her, I was like, they shouldn't make them so strong because nobody can buy another one. Like my eyeballs were crossed. Yeah. And I hadn't even finished the, the one yet. Right? And then we were like drunk for how long after? I was just buzzed, but I mean. Well, I mean, but not yeah, drunk. We not felt drunk it. is yeah. the wrong word. No, but I mean like, like a little dizzy buzzy. feeling and like your eyes were kind anyway. of like this. Oh yeah. my goodness. And we but, both got two different things, but I mean, they yeah, were like, I, we, as soon as we took the first drink, we were both the, like. The first hit, we were like, oh my goodness, we in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> okay, your favorite memory together. I okay, always so had for the here, tipsy crab. For this one, yes, tipsy crab. But do you know what was a lot of fun for me what? in Nashville? Oh, Nashville. The photo shoot. Oh, I love the photo shoot. The photo shoot was a lot of fun. Yeah. And because, you know, like, it was... 
we kind of got to like let our little inner diva out, inner, inner diva out. And, but without being like all pretentious or anything, it was just fun because yeah. like we, it was something we had never done before. And we had like the, all five of us kind of together yeah. and then we would each get our own little thing. And so let's explain because there was a question about how we met and if we knew each other before the Fab Five trip. So if you oh, are okay. new to either one of our channels, if you're coming over from a vet's channel, hey girl, hey, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of the Georgia Sunshine family. Um, so, okay, there was a lot of questions. I think we have to tell the story from the beginning. So Do you want to wait said, for the like, question or you want to say, well, what's that question? Well, I think if we tell the story, it's yeah, going to we'll answer all there. the questions. What do okay, you think? good, and then we'll see what we so answered. Some of the skip. questions were like, how did you meet? Okay, so, you were the one who contacted me. Well, you kept it commenting on my videos. Well, yes, And that's then you true. emailed me about yes. questions about YouTube. Yes. And then I was doing a box collab and I reached out. I was like, hey, I know this really cool girl. She seems awesome. Let's do the collab. And Let's that's <laughs> kind of how we met, right? Yeah, I mean, we kind of like had those emails, yes. But I think I that, still that have was all really, those emails. Is that funny? really, mm -hmm. that is funny. I'm gonna have to look at some of them. Well, I read through them just recently. It was funny. Um, so we that's how we started out. And we did a couple yeah. of box collabs. And then we decided we wanted to do a trip. And then it kind yeah. of just snowballed. And, yeah. I think that we decided that we wanted to do a trip. First, we were just gonna do like a girls' trip. Yes. And it was just going to be, I mean, at that time, was it just me, you and favor? Or and Terry. Was it Terry? And then And then I know that when Favor brought in Tiffany. Favor brought in Tiffany. And then Favor's the one who got the whole thing going with She had the um, idea to do something with a clothing company. And right. we all kind of agreed on fashion. Right. And then I was like, Well, I know companies in Nashville, so we got I got confetti collection and we, oh Julie Box, which Julie is not even in, in, yeah. back in business anymore. Yeah. Um and so that's kinda how that's how we, we did. That's, that's how the first time Nashville. we met. That's the first time we met in person. Yeah, it was weird. When yeah. We walked in and we like met each other. Oh my gosh. But we clicked like immediately and we stay in touch by Marco Polo. Marco Polo. <laughs> Marco Polo. If you don't have the Marco Polo app, I get nothing from it. I know, but I love it. I tell everyone about it and yeah. it's like sometimes I have to keep repeating myself about it and people are like, Oh, that's right. Didn't you say something about that? And I was like, um, yeah, like a million years ago. Yeah, it's just an app it's where you really push the cool. button and you say, hey, girl, hey, what's up today? I'm headed to the post office or whatever. Yeah. And then she can answer you, but it's like video text messages. Like, well, yes. like a, like a walkie-talkie. Because you can't of, talk at the same the time, video. really. You could do like a little, you know, break in for a second, but it's not like a very long one. So it's like a video walkie-talkie. So sometimes we'll talk like five or ten times a day, and sometimes we won't talk for like... Four or five days. Yeah, it just depends on how busy, how busy we are. Everybody is. Yeah, and if something cray happens and we just got to talk. Yeah, so that's how we met. Yes, we did know each other, but not firsthand before the Fab Five trip. Right. But that was the first time we met. Right. Um, I think those were the like major. Okay, the major questions about that. So yeah, okay, cool. So when we were in Nashville, she was talking about um, Terry, who is Southern Yankee, actually. Um, everybody kind of contributed to the trip, which was really cool. Yeah. She found this tour where um, the photographer came along with you and she took you to all the major, like, what, what not billboards, what do you call those? Uh, murals, like painted oh, yes. murals on yes. walls and, and to locations around Nashville and took pictures. And so we each paid, it wasn't very expensive, like no, 30 bucks or something. I don't something. even remember what it was. And Probably, we got it, all kinds of really, really cool happened. pictures. So yes, I agree, that was such a fun time. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I thought I thought that was a lot of fun. It was very warm though. Yeah, it was. Are you shopping? Uh, yes, we've already done a haul earlier yeah. in the video. <laughs> we didn't do too much shopping though. I think we did okay. Yeah, we did. I mean, we weren't we like loaded down or anything, but no. we did get like, we did get a few things. Pens and fun things. Oh my gosh, we got pens. Um, okay, what is your favorite trait about each other? I, listen, Christy is the most generous, loving person. Um, the same. She, She'll give you the shirt off of her back. Oh my gosh, y'all gonna make me cry now. Um, but, you know, we've gone through a bit together. Yeah. And, um... You know, I I ended up learning about Christy that there's probably nothing I could do that would make her leave me unless 
I don't know, maybe. We're yeah, vaults. You know, We're each other's vaults. Like we yeah, know. do anything to her cat or something. Well, yeah, no. Because I would never. But I, I don't know. It's just I, I just know how blessed I am. Yeah, and me too. Just, me too. I love how girl. hard work. How what a hard worker you are. Yes, definitely. You too. And she's got my back. That's the yeah. thing too. Don't mess I know with this girl because I will. Don't mess with her. I'll be up in your grill. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> don't mess with my bestie. Don't. <laughs> Most of the time I keep my mouth shut, but if I needed to cut loose. She would. She would I cut would it. Do it. She would do I it. Would she do might it. even use a curse word. I don't yeah. Know. And I love how sp spontaneous she is. I think we just laugh easily. Yes, I don't. I... <laughs> we know how to make the, the room lighter. Yes. When we get sappy. Yes. We're going to do that right now. Make it lighter. <laughs> Okay. okay. Uh, who's sassier? I think it depends on I, the day. You know what? Yes, I think it depends on the day. Yeah. Uh, she might edge me out a little bit, though. She. Might. I don't know. I think when one of us is in a bad mood, <laughs> the other one can turn the smile upside. The That's true. Upside down. That's really true. Quickly. That's true. Yeah, we are able to crack a joke or be silly or something. <laughs> Remember when I, we remember when I did the Marco Polo about the fungi project? She was oh like, I gosh. need this today so bad. <laughs> I'll have to tell you about the Fun Guy Project one day. Yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's, funny it's story. pretty funny. Um, okay, so how long have we known each other? Has it been three years? Oh my gosh, I think it has. I think so too. Because like we hadn't seen each other for like a year and a half. A year and a half. Since Nashville. Is that true? No, because no, I Y'all so didn't know this. Yeah, y'all didn't know this. I had gone to a quilting retreat for a weekend and while I was there. In Alabama. In Alabama, and she drove like four hours she, to come and have dinner with me. She was gonna be that close to me. I said, um, I'm, "Can you get away for dinner? Like, I don't want to bug you, but if you're that close to me, I'm gonna be seeing you." And if I had known how bad all the dinners would be, I would have made her stay the whole time and come to dinner with me. <laughs> so I went and got a hotel. I drove over, got a hotel. We went to dinner. Is this a friend or what? And then, come on. Well, I mean, a night in a hotel without your kids and husband is well, kind okay. of a dream. <laughs> That's wrong. It was about you, but it was a little about me too. <laughs> In the okay. middle of quarantine. Yes. Yeah, so we, I think we I think it's, I think it's three years we've known each other. The restaurants were open. Yeah, we we were safe, guys. Okay. Oh yeah, we. Please. Okay. We're still alive, each other. So, yeah. I gotta put my. Oh, what is your go-to drink? Is that your go-to drink? Well, my go-to drink is. I mean, honestly, coffee. coffee. Probably <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Probably coffee, but I mean, I have a lot of things that I, I like. Coffee, Diet Dr. Pepper, and water. Those are my favorite things. Yeah, I like Dr. Pepper, regular, like full octane, and yeah. chai latte, hot or cold. Those are my favorites. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we answered that one. We're on page two already. Okay, Ooh. we're gonna take a little cupcake break. Yeah, we're gonna have, we got these cupcakes, and I think we, we, should, we talked had, about them, I think, in the last. Yes, yeah, so you guys heard about it. Now, we, we might have uh, kind of like, Red. Eating the red velvet. We, <laughs> we couldn't wait for those. But we thought we would just, this is called Carrie Town Bakery. And I got the the bee one. Yeah, that's not What's it called? Too. The bee? The bee? Something the bee. And it has bee amaretto or, and honey, I, I think. And yeah. I just love amaretto. So we're going to go I ahead. have a feeling this one's going to be very difficult to eat. I got a Oreo peanut butter. I'm gonna have to end up taking off my sweater because I'm gonna be bursting into like. Are you hot? Well, it's gonna make me yeah. sweat because it's sugar. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna try. I could do without the icing. Yeah, I actually could too, mm. to be honest. Now this one, apparently, I'll show you. You can't really see it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's baked in. They bake an Oreo cookie into the bottom, so we'll have to see how that goes. All right, look it. They promised amaretto. We're all friends here. And so. this. It's just vanilla. You don't taste the, really? the amaretto at all. I'm kind of bummed. Well, that's not fun. Let me just, all right. Oops. Cookie dough. Icing. That was a bite, girlfriend. Ooh. Is that fudge in the middle? No. I don't taste fudge. Mine was good. Is yours good? It's good. Mine was good. I was just hoping it was more amaretto-ish. Yeah. E. Amaretto it's good. I definitely taste the peanut butter. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Because that's mm -hmm. peanut butter Oreo. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Are we ready? Yeah, I did like finish this at the end. Good. Yeah. Okay. Why are you just so darn adorable? Maybe it's Maybelline. Wait, what is it? What is it? Maybe she's born with it. Maybe, Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybelline. <laughs> I always get the end of the 
joke and never know the beginning. <laughs> or maybe it's our mom, a muzz. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll credit our mamas. Lord have mercy. Okay. <laughs> what got you started unboxing on YouTube? So if you didn't know, I think I explained this, but you started as an unboxing channel. Yeah. I've all, I started out thinking I was going to be a vlogging channel and kind of morphed into an unboxing channel. You've morphed into sew, a sewing channel, specifically yeah. foundation paper piecing. Yep. But you still unbox. She does the cat lady. Oh, I, I did, did say some, that earlier too. I yeah, think. that's true. Yeah, I do do the cat lady box first. So for those of you who would love for Christy to open the cat lady box and she just don't want to, I do. I have it's not for like I, five yeah. years I've opened it. So... I still love it, but I'm the cat lady person. Yeah. She's more she of like four cats. She's like, give three. me a cat. That's all I want. Yeah. I'm like, I'll take it all. She, the cat lady box is really cool if you don't know about it, but it has like cat t-shirts and cat vases and cat well, honestly, mugs. And the cat lady box is geared toward the cat lady. Yeah. Now I get the crazy cat lady box, which means that I also get toys for my cats. Yeah. See, I would like that. Like, yes, I've done the kitnip box, which is just toys. Right. But I don't want all the cats. She doesn't stuff. want the stuff. I get the stuff. Yeah. I don't want the yeah. mugs in the, I don't know. It's very tastefully done. I will tell you that though. I will say, but she's I just guess, not into it. Yeah, and that's cool. It's not my favorite. Yeah, so, I mean, you I just know, had when we're I, not all I, into everything. I put know. a question today. Uh, what boxes you want to see? Cat lady boxes. <laughs> I might have to break down and do it at one point. But we we just uh, for me, I told the story before. Uh, my kids were old. Were a little bit older, um, and you know, I was always this, the girl scout mom and the hockey mom and the room mom and you know they got to a point where they didn't need me as much anymore and i just kept watching and thinking i was watching unboxings and i was watching hauls and i was watching clothing videos and i was like i think i can do this so i tried it and yeah. i liked it <laughs> and i thought i was relatively decent at it so i think you're kind of you're okay yeah well i mean if you go watch the beginning they're kind of <laughs> cringe those first videos but oh my goodness don't go back and watch my <laughs> no. first videos holy cow but um, you started because you're well I, I talk about this quite a lot on my channel but since this is christy's channel you probably know next to nothing about me um for me i i i was living here in the states and my husband and i moved to Sydney, Australia for three years. And when I came back, even though we came back to the same area, like everybody had pretty much moved on. You know, like I had friends who had kids now and um, other friends had like moved further away. And basically it and Jim was, was traveling a lot. Oh yeah, Jim was, Jim was still traveling a lot. He travels quite a bit for his job. Although lately, you know, with COVID it hasn't been that much, but um, so I was quite honestly very lonely and I didn't know anybody who sewed or quilted. The people in the area who I knew quilted at like my local quilt shop were just older ladies and had different um, likes and dislikes that, to me. And so it wasn't, um, it just wasn't working out and I was not to get all morbid or nothing, but I was getting, I was depressed and I thought, you know what, let me start doing this. I, cause I was watching, I was, I saw, um, lots of people who were doing unboxings of clothing and makeup. And my first, uh, box that I opened was Quilty Box. And, um, I don't even know what my first box, box that I opened was. Oh, hold on. I don't even know what my first box that I opened was. Mine was cool too. The only reason I know is because I just hit like five years and I went back and saw what was my first one because I was kind of like doing all these little things. Anyway, um, but that's why I started. I just thought that I would create my own little community of friends. <laughs> it worked out. I know you think it's, but it sounds like the craziest thing, you know, and it took like it forever. Me. It took forever really to like start getting. And so then in the beginning, it was like, you're just like, oh yeah, just like you, I could do this. You know, this would be fun. It would give me something to do and people will be talking to me. Not for a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> just, just well, that's a, what you said in those first videos. You said like, yeah. I don't have a lot of friends. I'm trying to make and some that's friends. What I to do. That's what she, you said to me. Yeah. I'll have to go back and read that email. Sorry. And it wasn't until like that, that 
that moment where it was like I was kind of close to a thousand, but it never was like my thing. I just kind of, and then they were about to change all the rules up. So and I did it because so then all of a rules. sudden I was like, bam, bam, I gotta get them, I gotta get them, and I got everybody, and then now I've got the bug. So, yeah. I luckily had it before they did the changes. Yeah, I was so, so close. I was like, I had like three weeks to get to a thousand. The hours I had that. But it was the the getting to a thousand that was that's what it was. Yeah, me so about up. three years they changed the monetization guidelines and they kind of sprung it on everybody. They gave everybody, I don't know, a couple months to to. Yeah, they did get. We had a deadline. Yeah, and yeah. But if not, then you have to almost start over. Not at the beginning, but it was going to be yeah. harder to. Yeah, jump it was going to be monetized. hard. It's not be that you when you're monetized, you make all the money. It might take you three months to make you. You have you don't get a paycheck to make a hundred. Right. It, it might, might take you three or four months to get a hundred and one dollars. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously. I, think I mean, it was it almost six for, months. People for me. think once they get a thousand, they're going to like rake in the cash. No, girl, I have 20000 20, and I'm still not raking in the cash. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, um, how do you find time to maintain your friendship? Marco Polo. Marco Polo. Marco Polo. I mean, that's truly yeah. the truth. And, and just, I think that the, the good thing, like I said before, is that we both sort of are in the same kind of, you know, we're, we we know that we have goals and that we have a lot to do. Um, we bounce ideas off each other and we're really like yeah. honest with each other. And if I'm being honest, I like, um, I had gotten to a point where I was so busy that I wasn't even talking to Christy anymore. And it wasn't because of anything. It's almost like I fell out of the habit. Yeah. Because we were like both so busy. And once you let something go a certain amount of time, it just, it's off your radar. Yeah. And you so work thankfully. For it. Friendships are hard. Yeah. You it's, gotta work for it. You it's really like do. Anything else. And she sent me an email and. I was we're, like, do you want to be friends anymore? I know, y'all, it was horrible. Like, I, that was like the worst feeling I ever had in my life. And, um, but I mean, that's the thing is it's the same. If you both want it, you can still yeah. have it. Yeah. And thankfully we do. Definitely. We yes. gotta do this more often wow. when we make our millions and retire. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? If you could have one thing to drink for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, if it could act like water and be healthy, then right. See, I, <laughs> I, honestly, I would. Or try like Dr. Pepper. If I was saying, if I had to, like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Coffee, just say it. Yeah, but I'm really not sure because, like, why? No, I think I would want water. Oh, okay. I know. Okay. I actually, I actually like water a lot. Yeah. I really do. And like, I don't even like plain old tap. Just pour it out of the tap. I'm good. Um, I'll, I'll fully admit I love me some coffee and some <laughs> and some Diet Dr Pepper. But if I had the water and I got myself weaned off of the caffeine, I think I would be okay and I could have the water. I think you could do it. I think I could do it. What is your all time fave cake? Mine's Trace Leches. Okay. I feel like we missed a question over here. I know. I remember another one. Go ahead. What's your favorite cake? Um, I am so boring, but honestly, like French vanilla would be my favorite. No oh, icing. Okay. And hot straight out of the oven. That's what I would want. French vanilla. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't write this question down, but I remember seeing it. I okay. Thought I thought I wrote it down. What is your favorite summertime song? Oh, geez. I haven't even listened to music in ages. Oh, she is a huge Audible fan. I, I listen to books. Yeah. All the time. And I... And we have such different tastes in books. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. My, but I do like your books. Like, I, 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 I've, read, yeah. I've read a few of um, her books. I'm... She's more true crime, mystery... Which I like, but when I read at this point in my life, I want like beach read easy. I don't want like the Harlequin romance stuff. I just want a good, yeah. like easy, light, funny story. I like, you know, and for me, it's like I will completely stop listening to an author if I'm sitting here and I'm reading a murder mystery or 
police procedural or something and everybody's hopping in a sack in two, two, yeah, you know, they've known like each other either. for two hours. Yeah. I, I am so jaded in this one because I'm just like, look at, I understand people who like romance. Just go read them a romance novel. If I wanted to read that, I would have picked up a romance yeah, novel. Yeah, that doesn't belong in a crime. Scene. Well, I don't, you know, you're talking about a person who's like, mother just got murdered or something but yeah let me just hop in a sack in like two hours with the guy who's like trying to find out who did it really come on i don't know see i'm i'm totally over the whole let's just hop in a sack for no reason i i really am and the especially with like when the dude's a butthole you know dude's a butthole why are you hopping in a sack with him anyways Anyways, I, listen. That's far away from what our favorite summer song was. Okay, favorite summer song. My. I lie, big butts, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bit racing around thing in your face, you get sprung. Wanna okay. pull up tough one? Cause you know that butt was stuff. Deep in a t-shirt wearing. I'm hooked and I can't stop staring. Oh, oh baby, baby. You wanna get with ya? Take, wanna get I'm gonna take you. your picture. <laughs> Hey, so My you go, oh. was trying to warn me, but that butt you got me. Feel so horny. <laughs> so if you go over to Yvette's channel <laughs> on her lives, they pay her to sing that song. Yeah. No lie. Sometimes. Sometimes I do it's it for like free. It's like every... every oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my favorite summer song is probably Sheryl Crow. I want to soak up the sun. I like that song. I want to tell everyone to lie. Up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Up, people. Um. What's this one? Oh, I don't know the answer to this one. So the question is, if you oh. have a lifetime of something, if you won one, a lifetime of something, what would it be? I have no idea. I would want. I don't know if you could possibly win this. Oh, I know what I want. But I would want a lifetime, my lifetime, with my fur babies. And not yeah. having to worry about them not being with me. Oh, that's, that's what I would want to win. Yeah. Well, no, mine sounds petty. Oh, poop. Sorry. <laughs> I would like a lifetime supply of movie tickets and concession stand. That's a good movies. one, though. That's a good one. Because y'all know I love the movies. I love going to movies, too. But usually just to, like, hurry up and eat some popcorn and take a nap. She, she's like my husband. She probably sleeps in the movie. I do. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, you better put me in a recliner in the dark. Really? <laughs> I'm like this. When my hot dog well, see, I do that before the movie even starts. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, what do you have the mo what do you have most in common? Is that what yeah. Yeah. What do we have the most in common? I think we just both have really, really well, strong work ethics. Yes, I do. I think that we both have really, really strong work ethics. And I think that's good because I have like utmost respect for you yeah. and i or think and i like yeah. that because there's absolutely nothing about you that makes me cringe i think uh, uh some what of our childhoods were similar yeah which yeah. is interesting too yeah um and what do we what are we most opposite of in interesting well other than the books I mean, I know we're opposite in stuff. She doesn't yeah. eat in a vegetable, except a potato. Not a, but not a That's one. That's not a vegetable. Not a That's one. That's a starch. Not a bean. No. Nothing. Well, I like pork and beans. You do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Learn something new every day. I like pork and beans. Um, but I don't know if that's like total opposite. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know either. It's crazy. You're a wine drinker. You're a coffee drinker. I'm not. I mean, I think they're silly These are things, like really silly like, things, though. Yeah. Probably, yeah, I think that, like, fundamental things. I don't think that we have anything that's so opposite mm -mm. that it would, like, stand out. I think politically we're very different. That'd probably be a big Probably, but, but I don't, we don't, talk, we don't about talk about it, it yeah. so I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, Just my entire family is completely that. opposite yeah. to my so politics, I think, yeah. so, I, you know, that's not something for me not to... No, I know. I'm just saying yeah. that that's yeah. an opposite. I mean, that's a polarizing that thing is. that has polarized our country true. 50 that's by true. 50. But I mean, you know. I'm going to get in trouble for this, but we're normal. Exactly. Yes. Like, I don't flip out about stuff like no, that. No, I don't you either. flip out about either. stuff like that. So, I'm like, live and live. I think it's, yeah. Okay. Okay. Is this, our, is this our last one? You know what? It should be because this one's kind of morbid. Oh, 
well, I don't know how I'm going to answer this one. Go ahead. I don't even, how would you answer that? First I of all, know. you would like be giving it all to your children, yeah. hopefully. Well, I, would, I mean, I, I don't <laughs> okay, know. So, <laughs> okay, okay. So we'll, we'll read the question. We'll read the question. It says, if you were going to be gone tomorrow, I'm assuming that means <laughs> croaked. Um, <laughs> trying to make it light. I oh, know. <laughs> what would you want your bestie to have of yours? I don't that have anything. That part's not like, like a, yeah, I don't, I don't have I don't anything, anything I think like, you would want. Yeah. Like I'm not. Maybe if I have a Starbucks, Starbucks gift card that I haven't used yet, which would be like. Thanks, babe. <laughs> I know, I don't know. I'd make sure she could I have some chai latte. I don't know. Quilt. I could give you a quilt. Because I don't think I only anybody have else would really want. Little, like my little pineapple lady. I probably should make her a quilt, right? No, I'm not asking you to make a quilt. I'm just saying you could <laughs> will me okay. a quilt. I'll, I, I would give her a quilt for sure. Like my favorite quilt. Yeah. I'd give you my favorite one. Yeah. But I don't, have, I don't do anything special like that. So I don't know. I'll have to think on that one. You could I'll have like, to get back to you on that one. <laughs> next time I work with Paul, you me. next week, I'll be like, okay, when I die, this is what you get. <laughs> this is what you get. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We're, we're leaving off on a morbid. I don't, it's not morbid. It doesn't have to be morbid. I'll okay. get you, I'll give you a quilt before I die. Okay. okay. <laughs> That'd be better. Probably. Right. So we have to clean up and get ready. Yeah. To we actually don't have that much cleaning up to do because we did no, a whole lot of eating We're pretty out. neat. We did. Yeah, we, <laughs> we did go the first night we went and I think we spent about $50 on groceries and we've just been yeah. like. But we did pretty it. good on it. I mean, like, we don't have too much left mm -hmm. over. I have a can of Pringles I'm going to take in the plane. Yeah, we've been having just bar. a little, you know, we just have a few snacks. I'm going to eat the rest of my cherries in the morning for breakfast. There you go. So I probably have, have the most up, but I'm driving, so I can, like, pop it in the car. And I'm flying. Tomorrow's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm going to be 50. Which way are they seeing it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I, she ages well. My hair is so fluffy, you guys. We've been out in the humidity. It, it is a bit Look humid. Yeah. <laughs> Every time we go out, my hair grows like two sizes. <laughs> and mine just stays it's like just this. It's just been nothing but rain almost the whole time we've been here. Yeah. yeah. Today was the first day. It was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. To, yesterday it wasn't bad, but yeah. it did rain a little bit, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, we have to plan our next trip where we're going. Yeah. I still would love to come back here one day and do that one thing. I love this place, but I wish we could like pick it up and move it somewhere. Yeah, we're in the middle of downtown and it's like near all these really cool like bars and restaurants, not a lot of shops, but we were here during the weekend and you could hear the bar crowd. I thought there were gunshots. Getting loud. I, I don't know that there was gunshots, but we did. I, they probably cars. weren't gunshots, yeah. but it was like, pa, pa. and then like a few seconds later, it was like, pa, pa. I didn't hear nothing else after I that. Didn't hear that. And I didn't hear like the cops coming at that time. I mean, we felt safe. Yeah, no, because yeah, where we are, we felt it, but it was loud. It was loud. Like you could hear everything. Yeah. Yeah. So I agree. she got crazy. I was yeah, it was like no 2 o'clock in the morning, and there were people outside of our door, like, cackling, like a group of girls. Cackling. And I went to the top of the stairs, and I said, I'm about to come down there and lose my shiz. And I said shiz. She did. And they left. They must have heard me. It, uh, she slept through the whole thing. <laughs> you heard me think. But it, I couldn't go to sleep. I was like... I would never go down there and lose my shiz because I'm a weenie. <laughs> but they must have heard me, and, and they I left. tailed it away. <laughs> I could sleep through like a fire alarm. Normally I can too, but my daughter had called me um, 30 minutes earlier with her father in the next room and said, Mom, I'm throwing up. I don't know what I'm, I'm so sorry. I mean, I did feel bad, but I was like, Wait, can you wake you up do? dad? Yeah. He's like in the next room. He's I'm right like there. three states away. <laughs> That's my life. It's great. <laughs> So we are going to have to let you know, or go let you, I can't even speak. We're going to have to let you go. We're going to let you um, go. I'm sorry this vlog wasn't very vloggy. Like we didn't vlog. I'm not a vlogger. This is kind of vloggy right now. Yeah, it's going to be okay. long because I think our last session was like 20 minutes. So. At least you're going to get a really nice long. You'd be sick of us by the time this video is over. Visiting with Yvette Don't and Don't subscribe. No. We'll go back to our regularly scheduled content. Regularly scheduled. <laughs> Unfortunately, because we're separating. Go follow Yvette's channel. 
go I'll follow Chris's channel. Well, they're my channel. Hopefully, they are following me. We I know, know, but I, maybe I'll send you somehow. a peeps over. I'm gonna send you peeps over to come and because we need Chrissy to get out. me to thirty thousand now. Well, everybody's gonna want to see me, so that's you know, true. Because come so over, you. So we're gonna pop her to thirty any second now. I hope so. Any second. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this vlog sit down video we're gonna finish oh eating God. our cupcake at now 11 15 at night i, I think that this is the cookie down here I, think. Oh, I see it yeah so y'all have a good night or day or whatever time you're watching and we'll see you soon bye, bye. <laughs>